Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a medication known as lanthanum carbonate. Its brand name is Phosphorinol. And before we talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, I've put together some slides to go over the information associated with this medication. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here would be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So lanthanum carbonate reduces serum phosphate in patients with end-stage renal disease. It inhibits the absorption of dietary phosphate by forming highly insoluble lanthanum phosphate complexes. In terms of indications or reasons we prescribe this medication to a patient, well, as mentioned, it would be used in end-stage renal disease in patients who have hyperphosphatemia or high levels of phosphate. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe lanthanum carbonate, well, first off, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to lanthanum carbonate or any other component of the formulation. If a patient had a bowel obstruction, including ileus or fecal impaction, they would also not use this medication. Now, for an example of dosing with lanthanum carbonate, so in the treatment of end-stage renal disease in patients who have hyperphosphatemia, initially we may see 1,500 milligrams orally per day in divided doses with meals. We would then titrate in increments of 750 milligrams per day at intervals of two to three weeks. For maintenance therapy, we may see 1,500 to 3,000 milligrams orally per day in divided doses with meals. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using lanthanum carbonate. We'll go over some of those here now. 5% of patients may experience abdominal pain, some may experience diarrhea, or 11% may experience nausea. Vomiting comes in at 9%. More serious side effects may include bowel obstruction, fecal impaction, or, a ga or gastrointestinal perforation. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with lanthanum carbonate or phosphorinol. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. Good for today. Take care.